Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome back. Thought I'd make a little spiel about um, all these panels I'm about to put back on. <clears throat> panels I had to remove to get access to uh, body mounts and um, the rocker panel that was pretty much toast. So all those panels are gonna, uh, if I have enough material, it's gonna all go back on today. And uh, I wanted to share with you why, what, why, and who I kind of got my information from as far as materials. So I'm using a plyo grip, all right? Before I explain this, uh, I'm like, I'm definitely not a body guy. I'm uh, not a professional. Uh, so because of that, there's a bit of paranoia that comes with doing your own, right? Am I gonna use the right material? Is it gonna cause uh, some sort of failure down the road? Am I gonna have rework after I do the majority of this work? Put this car together and have to repaint it or something crazy like that. So. Um, I know 3M makes a panel bond, and um, if I wouldn't have talked to a couple people, I probably would have used that. Um, and the major reason I went to this, which is a Valvoline product, it's panel 90, it's called Plyo Grip. Um, it uses a little bit different gun. It's a two, I think, 220 millimeter gun. It means the sizes of these two are just a little bit different than the 3M ones. Um, but the reason is because apparently this has some sort of uh, adhesive or adhesion promoter. Um, and I'm not, a, I'm not a, um, I'm not an expert on any of this. Uh, but I called Josh from Custom Corvette, Custom Image Corvettes, <clears throat> and I was like, "Dude, what do you use? I want to make sure I don't have to do this twice." And that's what he expressed to me uh, why it was important and for him to use it. So. Uh, if it's good for him, it's definitely good for me. So it's a Valvoline product. Some of the tubes have Valvoline across the top. Um, some of them just have plyo grip like this. Uh, it's about 50 bucks a tube. They're not cheap. At least that's my price and that sucks. So, and I think I'm gonna need like two or three more, which is, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, it sucks, but I definitely took on the project. I'm gonna have to take on the expense. So, um, but anyways, I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm about to do uh, and the prep I've done. All right, so I'm gonna use a bonding strip here um, because it's a butt joint. And uh, I'll go around, mock everything up. I will take a Sharpie and I will mark everything, uh, all the perimeter areas of each panel. Okay, so I'll mark all this out so I have um, essentially some parameters on which to apply all my panel bonding. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll screw all these down and try to clamp in the areas that I, I can't reach anything. I'll use, um, self tappers and, um, <clears throat> and again, all I did was I took an abrasive wheel anywhere I thought something would have to stick to. Okay. So, you know, not rocket science. Anytime you're going to do anything that requires adhesion, you want to rough up the surface. That's been my experience. Um, so bonding strips important, uh, I think. That's my understanding. Uh, anywhere you have a seam, butt joints, anything like that, you definitely want a bonding strip, especially with fiberglass. Uh, so I will, uh, I'll get some of these installed and show you guys what it looks like. All right, well, here we are. Bit of a finished product. I went ahead and uh, put a new plate, backing plate on that, and used the OEM uh, rivets. It's kind of cool. Um, and uh, essentially just panel bonded everything in. I just kind of fingered everything. I'll overlay that when I pull the self tappers out with uh, fiberglass and try to clean all that up. I gotta put one in there. Um, forgot about that one. I, I put it in and then it impeded the install on that panel, so I gotta put it back in. So there's number one, using clamps, of course. Here is uh, the rocker panel, uh, kick panel, okay. And I just made sure I applied it liberally, you know. And uh, these gaps are not great, but I will uh, clearly have a lot of finishing work to do there. So, but everything fit pretty decent. When I removed that part originally, it had a huge ton of filler in this area to begin with. So, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, 
of them fit pretty decent going back, and I still have to drill out these rivets and I'll get that taken care of when everything sets up. So I know it's probably not the most exciting thing, but uh, that's what's next up in the process. I uh, just kind of want to finish what I started before I move on to the next part, which is, I guess, technically would be the windshield. Um, waiting on parts. Hopefully can see some stuff here beginning of September. Uh, the rest of my van steel parts, and I can get this frame mocked up. This is kind of in the works also. I started welding up all the uh, seams, kind of stiffen up the ride. Um, I have a couple of projects in the works for this as well. So... Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll keep plugging away and hopefully get you guys some more interesting stuff to pay attention to or watch. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, shoot me a comment, and uh, I'll check them here every now and again and get back with you guys. Thanks for watching again. Talk to you next time.